Frederic is an expert on fishing light tackle for pike and other predatory species. He fishes competitions on a very high level and really knows how to work different baits to trigger strikes from difficult fish. But the day starts slow and we only catch small pike. It is a day with very changing wind conditions. When the wind is at its highest, we drop anchor and cast in different directions. But when the wind calms down a little, I can use the electric motor and eye pilot to steer the boat very precisely with the remote control. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah, that's a real fish. Yeah. <laughs> Should we drop the anchor or? I put it now. Yep. That's a strong fish. Oh, he's going airborne. <laughs> he's not that big, but he's strong. <laughs> What did you use? Get the fish. Oh, uh, yeah. Freddy, pike colors. There we go. There we go. Frederick, we've been doing all right on the fishing. We've been catching a fair amount of fish, but we've been struggling a little bit to catch the bigger fish. Yeah, we have numbers, but uh, not so many big ones. Yep. But that's, some days are like this, I think. Yep, and there's no doubt that this lake here has a lot of pike, and we've been catching you know, several that are really, really small too. And one thing I like to do when uh, you get the smaller pike is, uh, is fish the pike colorations like I just did uh, on this swim bait here. And, and got the fairly nice size piked on that. 
That's uh, one of my favorite colors when the water's clear and especially here in May uh, when it's after the spawn and they can sort of be, the bigger fish can be annoyed and be aggressive towards the, the smaller yeah, fish. I think there's something reminding from, from the, the reproduction time. It's a uh, female and male are fighting a lot during reproduction time, but still now in May, late after the mating period, uh, I think that they still hunt each other a little bit. Yep. And uh, that's a, for, for me, that's one of the reasons that we, we get good results usually early in the season with the pike colors. Yep. And I think sometimes you catch a small pike and you'll see a bigger pike come up and grab it and you'll see one with bite marks. So yeah. it's, it's certainly an aggressive thing, but I, it's, it's also a, a good food source, a place yeah. where the small pike are plentiful. And the pike coloration, it, uh, this is the swim bait that, that I just caught the pike on, but you can use them in a lot of different situations. I got a couple other swim baits here that have the pike coloration. For trolling, I like using these, these big wobblers uh, that are pike colors too. And when I'm jerkbait fishing, um, the pike coloration is, is also a great go-to. Actually, even when I'm fly fishing, I have these uh, flies. I call it pike-like pike fly um, that I tie to resemble a sort of a long oh, that's, that's pike, awesome. pike looking fly. And, 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 and they love these too. Today we didn't, didn't have so much success on, uh, on sharp colors mainly uh, natural stuff yep. but um, now and then I'm gonna try uh, chartreuse or, or white or something which is really the opposite that uh, from the natural color that we could try perch or, or pike colors yep. it's um, for me it's really important to try sometimes even if you we get some bite but yeah. Sometimes you have to get out of the way and, and try get, something else. Don't get else. stuck fishing one yeah. thing. Don't be afraid to, to, to try something different too. Freddie, uh, a lot of the time when you're fishing in the tournaments, uh, or at least some of the time, you're using swim baits. Can you explain a little bit about uh, why you like to use swim baits and, and the differences between the different types of swim baits and in which situations you like to choose one over another? I, I use a lot of swim bait because they are uh, really a, a good searching bait. And you have a different size and, and different type of action. And, and the good thing is also it's quite easy to use because yep. you cast and retrieve mainly a uh, swim bait is swimming alone so you can you can jerk it twitch it a little bit but mainly the the action of the body yeah is doing the job alone when when you learn them you can you can improve the swimming a little bit by sm some small action for, with the rods so the so the fisherman can improve the swimming of the of the bait but mainly the swim bait will swim alone yep. not like a jerk bait that you have really to to jerk it and, and yep. to, so in order to make it swim a swim bait is really swimming alone so you have soft swim bait those it's almost impossible to twitch them they just get this nice s swimming action very very tight swimming action and then after you have the hard swim bait like for example those two a two-part swim bait we mm -hmm. call it catwalk mm -hmm. why catwalk because this is this side to side action left right left right so like the ladies one, walking down the yes. catwalk so you cast and retrieve and it start to swim alone and the difference between the two part and, and the three parts is on a two-part swim bait, the, f the front part is really l long and wide, and every time you twitch it, it's sliding sideways, taking this part like a it's like a spear. You yep. know, it's gliding in the water. Yep. It's taking the, the front part works kind of like a jerk bait in yes, some ways. Yes. Yes. Yep. And and this part is the tail part. So a jerk bait, you you will have to. Um, really turn it a lot this yep. naturally this is 
it's Taking gonna turn it itself yes, alone so I use this when I want to discover in what mood are the fish and, and where they are because it's quite aggressive so this side to side action a lot of noise air because of the jointed uh, part and it's a very aggressive uh, fishing because we have wide action sideways mm -hmm. the three part swim bait get a much natural s swimming action because it's in three parts so the f front part which used to send my bait sideways it's smaller mm -hmm. so it doesn't act like this it's the whole body will give this action yep. so I cannot hold it at the same place so much because it's always swimming around and so you keep a much tighter line this action is more, more tight, mm -hmm. the S action, than, than the two-part catwalk. So that's what we call the real swim, because it got much more yep. real action. And it looks so real this, naturalistic. Yes, this one I will use it when, when I get um, spooky fish, clear water condition, uh, but still um, active fish, because since I cannot stop it, I'm going to swim it all the time, even if I swim it real slow, I cannot stop it. So then I need active fish. They can be shy, they can be uh, tricky to take, but they are active, they are feeding actively. And then I choose this one. Yep. This one, if I stop it, it doesn't, uh, I cannot control it so much, so I use not to stop it. Okay. So it's really cast and retrieve compared to this one which is a free part you get a lip mm -hmm. this one you can stop because of the lip it stands there and the lip is holding the bait at this place so you can slow it much more down so if you have uh, hard condition and fish which are not active yep. you, you, you will prefer a swim bait with the lip yep. yeah this is another two-part swim bait the flat bone clicker and I define it as a what we call a wake bait. Mm -hmm. So it's going to st stay really close from the surface. And if I reel it really slowly, it will make a wake on, yep. on the surface. And that will annoy the fish and it will trigger the bite like yep. this. And then because of the leap, you can make this spin stop that you, you talk about. Yep, and because it's floating too, right on the spin stop, it goes up real slow. And I've had a lot of fish who then come up behind it and when it stops and it starts kind of floating up then they rise yes. up and grab it. That's what I like in swim bait with the lip, that you can stop them. Yep. We have several hours of fishing left and towards the end of the day we get some decent fish and great experiences. Good one, good one. Barely hooked, barely hooked. The big pike has swallowed another pike and is spitting it out after being hooked. Look at this, oh. look at this. Yes, Ooh. perfect. Ooh. <laughs> oh. That's what I'm talking about. Now you see why I like the pike color down yes. here? <laughs> he was dead. He looked like he'd been chewing on that other pike for a while. Good one again. Eh? Nice coloration. Yeah. The pike he ate was like about that big. Yeah. Way bigger than our lures. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no.
think we're gonna stay here for a little bit. That was a good looking fish. Yeah. Good one. Yep, yep, I see it, I see it. Eighty-nine. Eighty-nine. <laughs> I'm missing one centimeter. You're missing eleven centimeters. <laughs> oh, that's a good-looking fish. <laughs> <laughs>